What's up guys, it's Zeronix GFX here, and uh, I'm going to be giving you another tutorial on how to create an abstract spheres uh, wallpaper. So um, I'll show you guys a final result. My computer is being really slow, but um, this is going to be the final result minus uh, this stuff right here, the Zeronix. We're going to be creating this um, right here. Um, this is actually one of <laughs> my favorite things I've made in Cinema 4D. Um, and, uh, it looks really sick. Here, let me stop this. Yes. Sorry, I'm rendering out, um, an intro right now, and it's taken a really long time. Anyway, alright, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off, and we're just going to create a sphere. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it this size. It looks fine, just like this. Um, I don't know why I just rendered that. <laughs> So we've got that, and then, um, actually, no, 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 keep it how it is, and then we're going to make another sphere, but, um, so we make sphere, and then we're going to make another sphere. Now, sphere one, I'm going to call it, um, uh, illuminated, or no, I'll just call it small spheres and I'm not gonna call it small balls for obvious reasons <laughs> okay anyway small spheres alright and what we're going to do is we're gonna take this one and scale it uh, pretty far down I would say till uh, about so it looks like that and we're going to create a material uh, we can create one material, or we can create two separate materials. I'm going to create one material because, um, to me, it's just a lot easier and it just takes less time. Alright, so we're going to check color and luminance. So color, we're going to want to make um, black, just full black. And then luminance, we're going to go to texture, gradient, and double click on the gradient and bring these... Um, like really close together because we want to try and center them and make a nice um, white stripe going right down the middle um, so let's try and adjust this that looks pretty good and change that to 2D V um, just like that so we should get something like that I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because I don't want it to be too uh, overpowering of the other colors or not other colors but other things so that looks that looks good just like that um, check reflection because we're gonna have all the uh, spheres <laughs> reflecting off of each other um, bring the brightness and mix strength down oh yeah texture for now my bad. Texture, Fresnel, Fresnel, whatever you want to call it. And uh, bring the brightness, I would say, down to 20 and the mix strength down to 20. So we don't get too much of a reflection. And then, uh, that looks good. Uh, should I turn off specular? Nah, I'm going to keep specular on just because I'm a rebel. <laughs> so, that is that for the small spheres. So go ahead, apply that material and uh, we get that so it's looking beautiful so far now um, we're gonna go up to MoGraph and click on cloner and drag the small sphere under the cloner and we should get three of them like this but uh, you're gonna come into the cloner go to object and select mode grid array and we'll get something like this now I'm gonna do I would say 7 by 7 by 7 change these to like 250 250 and 250 um no maybe like 300 because we don't want them to be touching because we're gonna have um we're gonna be adding a rigid body to them let me actually scale the sphere down a little bit um see what we can get here alright I think that looks uh pretty good so now we get this big cube of spheres. Um, so take the cloner, 
come over to the positioning tool and um, drag it just straight down and uh, turn on this sphere back uh, so drag that I'm gonna drag it down just a little bit more now um, for this sphere right here uh, we're gonna create another material go to color and press black or not press black but choose black click OK reflection texture Fresnel brightness brightness uh, 20 sorry if I'm going a little fast on this part we did it before so um, if you want to you can just like copy and paste the other one and just remove luminance alright so we've got that that's just going to be a black material gosh goodness gracious my computer is running slow right now won't even load this material what is going on uno momento por favor there it goes there it goes alright uh, now we're gonna wanna be adding some dynamics to this because uh, we want to make them collide together and produce a really nice effect so come into come open up the cloner go to small spheres um, and we're gonna right click go to simulation tags and uh, click rigid body and then go to sphere the regular sphere the bigger one simulation tags um, rigid body as well or you could do a um, collider body that's what I'm gonna do do collider body I think that that should work just fine and then also we're gonna go to sphere or no not uh, not right click go to uh, simulate particles attractor and we're gonna drag this sphere under the attractor so now if you play it they are falling to the ground uh, let's see let's see go to attractor change the strength I'm gonna change it to like 10,000 I think that should be good yeah and you'll see them start to curl around the ball when you press play so strength to 10,000 make sure the modes on acceleration um, and I'm gonna move these spheres down just a little bit in the cloner move the cloner down just a little bit so we don't see it very much um, when it collides with the uh, thingy <laughs> so press play and they should come up and then just pause it at a frame you like I'm gonna go with this frame right here um, really captures the moment <laughs> no, in cloner change to six 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 just so we don't have as many of them uh, going everywhere we can maybe get a little bit of a cleaner kind of alright I'm gonna go with this right here and um, so we were already on a great start so from here what we can do is come over here to light and I'm just gonna drag it straight down till it's somewhere in this uh, in this pack and I'm gonna place it right behind this ball so it's not seen um, type Omni uh, shadow maps soft and then go to shadow should be just on soft and if we give this a quick render it's not doing <laughs> what I wanted it to do uh, let's see let's see let's see I think for the light we have to actually change it to area No, that is not it either. One sec, guys. Here, let me pause this real quick. Alright, so sorry about that, guys. Um, but what we're going to have to do is when you come into light, um, you're going to change the visible light to inverse volumetric. Alright, and that's going to... That should... Um, yeah, there we go inverse mo volumetric and then you get this really nice effect of it shining out and the, uh, the spheres are kind of in the way so you get these nice rays um, coming out of the thingy <laughs> alright uh, now we're gonna come up to our render settings uh, I'm gonna s go physical because I'm in cinema 4d r14 so I'm gonna use the physical renderer change the sampler to fixed um, and I'm gonna change these all to three now when you increase these uh, it is going to increase your render time as well so um, just keep that in mind um, and then come over to effect and add ambient occlusion and global illumination 
uh, and that's going to give us the nice lighting and shading that we're that we want for this thingy. <laughs> All right, uh, go over to GI mode and change it to IR plus QMC still image, and I'm going to change the diffuse depth to two. Now that also will increase your render time, so keep that in mind. All right, and um, oh, one last thing in render settings, change it to, um, I'm going to change it to 1920 by 1080 just so we get really clear resolution uh, and we get full HD quality that we deserve. So I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and get a nice angle. Um, I would say about there looks right. And uh, I'm going to actually, one last thing. Uh, this will give us a nice reflection on top here and stuff. So I'm um, just go ahead and create a plane, and then um, oh, I created a disc. What am I doing? Plane. All right, and you're gonna scale this up quite a lot. Um, and then on the move tool, move it up so it's just out of the scene. Maybe like 440 or something. I don't know if the uh, scaling is um, or the ratios are correct on our both of our computers. Um, but just move it so it's out of the render view and then create a new material by double clicking or going to create new material and we're gonna check luminance and just leave it at that just so it's going to be just a white shiny material and then drag that onto the plane and that's going to give us some nice uh, reflections on the tops of these spheres so I'm gonna give this a quick render and um, I will be back when it is done. Actually, let me just change this back to 2, just so it'll render a little bit faster. Alright, and I will be back once the render is done. Alright, so this thing just finished up rendering. This took uh, 5 minutes and 40 seconds, so it's not too bad. Could have taken a lot longer. Um, and that is pretty much um, how you are going to create this nice uh, spheres wallpaper it's a little bit abstract which is what I like about it um, if you want to you can turn down the light uh, turn down the intensity a little bit so it's not as bright um, but that would take up a little bit too much time so um, that is my tutorial on how to create this and um, I hope you guys liked it so go ahead favorite the video like it and leave me some comments on what I should do next because I want to start a tutorial series and um, I need your guys suggestions so uh, like I said, like I said just a second ago, uh, just leave a comment, and I will do my best to get to it. So thanks for watching, guys.